Hey guys! Today we're going to be talking about the African diaspora in South Korea. Freedom is South Korea is one of the most ethnically homogenous countries in the world. Over 99% of South Koreans ethnically identify as Korean. There are no concrete statistics on the size of the Afro-Korean population. Needless to say, it's small, but it does exist. The African diaspora in South Korea is largely comprised of Africans and African Americans who have moved to Korea to study, for work, or because they have been deployed by the military. There is a small minority of native Afro-Koreans. By and large, they're the biracial children of Korean women and African American servicemen. This dates as far back as the 1950s, when the US deployed forces in South Korea during the Korean War, where North Korea, supported by China and the Soviet Union, fought for control against South Korea, supported by the US and the UN. South Korea saw a spike in mixed-race half-black children, many of whom were given up for adoption. The Korean president at the time, Syngman Rhee, upheld the notion of Ilguk Ilmin, one nation, one people, which put emphasis on ethnic homogeneity. Mixed race children were seen as undesirable and less worthy than ethnically Korean children. Racist attitudes at the time meant that some Afro-Korean orphans were reportedly deliberately starved and in some cases denied a formal education. As a result, in 1955, the US State Department petitioned American families to adopt ostracized Afro-Korean children, although many children were still rejected in favor of ethnically Korean orphans. The Korean government also partnered with international private adoption agencies for mixed-race Korean children to be sent overseas. Mixed Race Korean Identity is explored in the 2018 anthology called Mixed Korea, Our Stories. Although Afro-Korean narratives are not common in Korean cinema and literature, they have not been omitted entirely. Films featuring Afro-Koreans include The Black Baby I Gave Birth To, released in 1959, A Black Woman, which came out in 1982, The Broken Reed, released in 1984, and A Dress Unknown, released in 2000. Mum, Why Am I Black? published in 1965, Memories of My Ghost Brother published in 1996, and Fox Girl published in 2002 are just three novels of many that feature Afro-Korean characters. Over time, there have been greater waves of African migrants coming to South Korea to study or work. And although the black presence in South Korea is still relatively small, TV and social media has meant that some Afro-Koreans have enjoyed a great amount of fame and media attention. One example is the teenager Jonathan, known as the Congo Prince. His family were originally from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and his father came to South Korea seeking asylum. Several years later, the remaining family came to Korea to join him, when Jonathan was eight years old. Nowadays, Jonathan attends high school, but has become a media sensation in Korea, where he frequently appears on television and has almost a quarter of a million subscribers on his YouTube channel. Reportedly the most famous black man in South Korea is Sam Ochere, a Ghanaian-born TV personality. He originally came to Korea after he received a scholarship to study computer science in 2009. He transitioned into the entertainment industry and from early on understood how he could use his position in the media industry to bridge cultural gaps and enlighten attitudes towards black people in Korea. Han Hyun-min is a South Korean model who became the first ever Korean model of African descent to walk the catwalk in Korea. He is biracial, his father is Nigerian and his mother is Korean. Han himself was born and raised in the Korean capital of Seoul. Other examples of Afro-Korean celebrities whose fathers were African-American servicemen include the singer In Soo Ni, footballer Kang Soo Il, and the K-pop star Michelle Lee. That brings us to the end of our video on the African diaspora in South Korea. If you liked that, then check out the other videos in the series. And don't forget to find me on Instagram at Freedom Is Mine Official. I'll see you in the next video. Freedom.